and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it's Friday. We got the new content. We obviously got the most feared stuff for part two. We got the new house rules. And a video that you guys seem to really enjoy is when I go over the easiest way to beat the house rules, give you guys all my tips, tricks, the meta, and my best way to really get this done as quickly as possible. So that's what I'm doing. It is the tug of war format, which makes it a little bit different when it comes to making easiest because in other games you have objective scoring. This isn't really objective scoring. This is just yards and scoring. This isn't like so objectified, like this is 12 points, this is 14 points, this is a loss of points. So there's less strategy in that sense, but there's a lot we can still go over. And obviously the tug of war, in my opinion, is the most fun version of house rules. It sucks that it won't count for wins though, because that would have helped a lot more, but I think it's the most fun version of house rules. I really do think that. I think it's actually enjoyable to do. Obviously, 100 wins is tedious, but I'll go over all the rewards for you guys in a second real quick before we head into all the tips and tricks. Um, me personally, I like Tug of War, though. It reminds me of if you guys have played Superstar KO mode, which is a really fun game mode that you can play outside of Mutt. That does actually correlate with some Mutt rewards. It's similar to Superstar KO. Once you get into overtime, we're pretty much the Tug of War for who can get more yards or score first. Now, heading on over to the missions. You see the house rules right here, tug of war lock. Duel your way to victory in tug of war lock. You'll have 10 offensive plays each, alternating back and forth to be the furthest downfield. Score a touchdown to earn an instant win. Start racking up wins to earn a nat week two scary hero fantasy pack. So, one win is 10 trophies and 5,000 coins. Five wins is 20 trophies and 10,000 coins. 10 wins is 20 trophies and 10,000 coins. A way uniform. 20 trophies, 10,000 coins. 40 wins is 20 trophies, 10,000 coins. 60 wins is 20 trophies, 10,000 coins. 80 wins is 20 trophies, 10,000 coins. And 100 wins is the Nat Week 2 Scary Hero Fantasy Pack. So, all together, we got 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65,000 coins. And 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 125, uh, 125 trophies. And obviously, the player. Will I go beyond that? No. Will I even do this one? I hope so. I hope to get into this as soon as possible. I was playing these on my other account, not this one. I'm very, I, I was doing something dumb. I was on my other account, I was playing on there, and then I realized that I should probably be doing this on my main account, because that's where I want to get all the Nat cards from. But I was playing, was trying it out. Now, personally, tug of war, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, you come over to see, by the way, for those who, I know some of you guys can get really confused, it's over here, right over here in Seasons. You come over to Seasons, you click into it, it's tug of war lock. So first or close to score a touchdown, uh, no, first to closest, first or closest to score on 10 offensive plays or score a touchdown wins. So my personal recommendation is don't go for the one play touchdowns. Go for touchdowns, don't go for one play. Don't like come out there and you're cover two beater five straight plays. Cause guess what? If you don't beat it for five plays, the other person most likely can get five yards, five yards, five yards, five yards, get 50 yards and they're pretty much winning already. So don't give that up. Now remember, this game mode could change very quickly. Very, very quickly. It can go from, like literally, you you could be on the ninth play right out of 10, ninth play, or your 10th play, you could be on your 10th play, you could have 99 yards. They can come out inside zone, break a 99 yard touchdown and beat you. They technically beat you on yards and a touchdown at the same time. So make sure, make sure, make sure, you guys gotta really take care on defense. Really, don't, don't play lazy defense. Because if you play good offense and you play lazy defense, that could really end up screwing you guys. But before we get into the bulk of all the tips and tricks, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn that noti bell and make sure to comment down below on whether or not you're gonna be playing these house rules, what you think of these house rules, and your best tips and tricks to complete these house rules. I love reading your feedback. Very entertaining. Helps out a lot of the other uh, commenters and subscribers down below. All the community. And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. You guys have been killing the like, killing it with the like button and the crazy support as of late. Let's get this video to 300 likes. Smash that like button, boys. That'll be greatly appreciated. Now, back to the tips and tricks, guys. Remember, for this, you do get a free 92 Nat Hero Fantasy Pack. Now, I don't believe that's just the new ones. I think it's all. So that's Cam Newton, Earl Thomas, Tyler Lockett, Travis Frederick, Denzel Ward, and and Dama Kung Su. Best ones to choose from there. I'll make a video for it, but it's I'm leaning towards. Denzel Ward and um, Travis Frederick, but obviously I'll make a video ranking them all, whether it is today or tomorrow. So when you get into this game, first and foremost, doesn't matter if you start off on offense and defense, because either way you're playing 10 plays. So I like to run the ball in this game mode. I really do because it depends on the front. If they come out, some people are gonna come out in heavy run fronts. They're not gonna let you run the ball, pass the ball, it's fine. Uh, I like out routes. Out routes are great, but out, the thing with out routes is no potential. A lot of out routes can get you 15 yards a clip, but the safety over the top will most likely stop you. So that's where the middle routes come in. Halfback angle is a great route. If you guys already know, I run the New England Patriots playbook. I know you guys are gonna ask for this. New England Patriot playbook, um, you go to you literally go to buy play type, 
you go to shotgun and it's the first play. It should be called X, X Drag Trail or something. I love that play for this game mode. You go to your RB and you max protect your RB. You put your right running back in a pass block and your tight end's gonna run in a like an in and in post and then your, your B or C is gonna run a post and then your running back is going to run an angle route like that and then your other left receiver is gonna run a drag. So pretty much essentially you got the deep route on the post if the safety doesn't play. You got the middle route on the linebacker if they don't do a good user. You got the drag as a flat route, which remember, if they play all those other things, the drag will come right under the uh, defense and you throw it to him. So I love that play person. I, I'm, I would rotate that play with inside zone. So that's kind of how my offense works for uh, things like this. So pretty much you're looking for that tight end. If that tight end catches it and he's open, that will be a 15 to 20 yard gain every time. If B catches it and he's wide open, it's a touchdown because B will split the safeties, obviously, over the top. So it all depends on who you're playing. If you're playing guys with a very good secondary, always look under you're gonna have the drag wide open the drag's always gonna be wide open on the right side of the field if they're not playing under so you throw it to him that's an easy 10 yards so pretty much you don't want to go for the banger every time because think about this let's say you go five plays in a row banger 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 well, that's all you're doing that could be the fifth let's say the first four plays you drop 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 the fifth play you finally get that 40 yard catch instead you could have just went drag for nine yards over the middle for 20 yards inside zone for 15 yards five yards that's still 50 yards and then if you happen to hit that banger then you probably win so that's what you guys want to you want to get yourself in good field position because the second you score it's over so the way i run my offense it's not a bunch of big plays it's not i run on like between five to 20 yard plays that's what i do so if i can get myself past the 50 i could really set myself up now as far as defense i'll get back to the offense in a little bit but as far as defense blitzing is a great thing to do in this game mode quite honestly because blitzing forces you to take the quick read the quick read in this game mode might only get you five yards every time but if you're, get, if you're making them quick read and then you're you're even sacking them, because if you sack them, they lose yards. So the sacking is a loss of yards. So sacking is huge. If you sack them, they lose their possession. And they actually, if you sack them for like eight yards, right? They technically lose a possession. They lose their last play most likely, which was probably eight to nine yards anyways. And if they had no yards, they actually go back even more. Like, it's crazy. Think about that. If they get five yards in the last play, five yards in the last two plays, you sack them for eight to 10 yards. They technically lose their last two plays. They lose their current play. And then you can come out and get like 20 yards on them. I like to blitz in this. I don't like to play conservative defense because conservative defense take all day. Sacking really, really gets you ahead. Now, if you're up by 60 yards or like 50 yards, then you play conservative defense. Unless, unless they're struggling. If they really can't handle that blitz, you keep sending the blitz at them. But if they look like they're competent offensively, once you go up by a little bit, start playing a little more conservative because you don't want to give up that long touchdown. If you're up by 80 yards, they're going to be going for that long touchdown. Just know that. Once you're once you're past like the six play point, they announce like the last three or four plays, and you're up by just amount, they're gonna start going for bangers down the field. So make sure you're playing those. You don't want to be the guy who on the tenth play gives up the 50 yard touchdown to someone. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you're staying on top of that. Now I would blitz and run extra extra out of the New England Patriots playbook. Uh, the, think about it this way: if B gets covered by the safety, if the tight end over the middle gets covered by the linebacker, and the drag gets covered, that angle up the middle wide open. I'm telling you, if you throw that and you rack catch it, you can take that 30 yards or even to the house. The safety will come over the top, and at that point, you're already 40 yards deep. Then on the next play, you come out and blitz them, and guess what? When you blitz them right there, they lose their play, and you're already up by 40 yards. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's flawless. This is exactly how I play Superstar KO. Ooh, if I get the option to with those kind of plays, you know, the first time we had the tug of war, I, I destroyed through with these plays. And the best part about it is you don't have to play actual starter offense. You literally start in tug of war. I love that. Fun game mode to play. And personally, I don't think it'll take too long. Personnel-wise, your team really doesn't matter here too much. Like, obviously it does, but it's a full game sucks, right? Because if your team is way undermatched in a full game, that sucks. You Like, you're, you're going to be behind. It's going it's to be hard. But in this game mode specifically, tug of war, anything could happen. You're in overtime. It's sudden death. First one to score. So as long as you can just bring out, break out all the glitch plays, break it out, break out your stretches or whatever you want. I don't, I know you guys are going to kill me for advertising that, but we're not here to compete. We're here to have fun and get a free play. Realistically, right? Let's, let's, let's be honest about this. So that's what I recommend you guys do. And when you do get to the end, guys, quick recommendations. I'd probably end up taking Denzel Ward or Travis Frederick as my two guys or Tyler Lockett. Those are my three top guys. I obviously am going to rank them and go in-depth analysis and all their stats probably in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that on Saturday. But for the time being, guys, I hope that helped you guys. Don't forget, x drag trail. Read it properly. Put your right uh, right running back on a pass, uh, pass protect. That's what I like to do. And then I like to run right out of that. Go right to concept. Inside runs. Go down to inside zone. I like to run inside zone to the right. You keep mixing that up. They're going to be playing you deep. You're going to go right in with the inside zone. I'm telling you. Great strategy. Great method. Hope this helps you guys out in winning these house rules. Comment down below. 
And whenever you guys come back to this, let me know how many wins you guys got. If this helped you guys, that'd be great. I love, I love hearing that it helped you guys because that means that I'm doing a great job and I'm getting the right info out to you guys. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. It goes a long way. Let's keep growing. Let's get to 11K as quickly as possible. And then hopefully to 20K as our next big milestone. Comment down below your best tips for house rules so everyone can get help down below in the comment section. And make sure to drop a like on this video, boys. Let's get the video to 300 likes. All the loyal, all the OG, all the new supporters. Everyone, likes go a long way. Help out the channel grow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.